Hello everyone. Hope you are doing great today. In this tutorial, we'll learn together how to create a filterable image gallery on WordPress using WP Media Folder plugin gallery feature. What I really like with this plugin is that it's really connected to the native WordPress media library and that it's effortless to add tags and then generate filters your images. So today, we'll learn how to create galleries, add tags to your image to activate the filters, include those filterable galleries into your WordPress content and many other things. Let's dig into it. In the first sequence we'll learn how to create a gallery with WordPress media and also with local media. First thing to know is that the gallery management is located in the WordPress admin menu called Media Folder Galleries under Media. It's also possible to manage galleries from the Elementor widget, but we'll see that in the next sequence of this video. Let's start a gallery from scratch. I'm clicking on the Add New Gallery button in my top left screen, then Create New Gallery. OK, let's add a title here and I'll keep the default theme for now. That's just a start, just an empty gallery. Now I'll use some of my images from the WordPress Media Library to finish my gallery. Let's select images in this folder and create a gallery. There are folders because the plugin WP Media Folder add many features to the WordPress Media Library including Media Folder Management. I can also create a gallery from a media folder if you've prepared your media earlier or uploaded some folders directly. Nice, the gallery is already created, of course I can add some local images to the gallery also here. Now that my gallery is done, we can jump to the next sequence and check the gallery settings. OK, now that I have created a gallery, I have access to some settings here, including themes. Well, I can click on the preview tab also, so you can see how it looks like. Now let's focus on the tags and the filterable gallery. Tags are simply keywords you can add on every image that will generate automatically the filters on the front end. In other words, adding tags on the image will activate the filter system later. The only setting I need to activate here or from the gallery block when I'll add to my WordPress page, the, the image tag setting I can find here. Let's go back to my image list now. OK, here I have an image that is a landscape that is a mountain with some snow so let's add the tags mountain and snow. I'll click on the setting icon over my image to open a pop-up and fill the keywords or tags. The idea is when my all my images have one or several tags on it, I will be able to use them as filter from the website frontend. Now I'm taking a moment to add all those tags or keywords on images for the demo. So, in the next sequence I can add the gallery in my content and show you how the filters are working. See you in the next sequence. Now that I have finished adding tags to all my images and I want to add it to my WordPress page. Let's go to the WordPress page list and open a page. Here the website is configured with the WordPress default editor also called Gutenberg. Now I will find the WP Media Folder Gallery block and add it to my editor. This is it, now I need to check that the gallery filters in the block setting is activated but I think so because I've already saved it during the initial gallery setup. Here it is, my image filter option. Let's save the page and test the filter from the front end. It's done I have my gallery images filtered. Note that the rest of the gallery display is similar to any other galleries with the image player and themes. You can watch the main gallery plugin video to get more information about theme and design of the plugin. Let's jump to next sequence, where I'll show you one of the special feature of this plugin called WP Media Folder, and you'll understand why. Now before presenting the plugin integration, I would like to show you a very special plugin feature. As you know the plugin we're showing is called WP Media Folder and this is the gallery add-in. Now let's go back to the WordPress Media Library. As you can see on the left side and main screen, we have some media folder and subfolders or organize our media. 
I can navigate through them and of course upload images and videos. Now how about using them to create galleries in 10 seconds? This is what I'm going to show you and also how to automatically update the gallery content according to the images located in a folder. Let's go for that. I'm going back to the media folder galleries menu, click on add new gallery button. I have the choice to select quick gallery from folder action. Let's say I want a landscape gallery, so I'm selecting this folder. Also, I know there are images in this one. And, boom! I have my gallery created with all the folder images in it. Finally, there's this amazing feature called Auto Add Image in Folder that will update the gallery automatically when you add a new photo in a folder. Also, when you hover the images with your mouse, there's an icon identifying that's that's automatic images from a folder. To finish this video, let's check the integrations that the gallery plugin has. There are many WordPress plugin integration with their respective content blocks, widget or module, whatever their names are. Also when that's more interesting there are many clouds integration, meaning that you can host your images on those systems, whether it's for performance purpose or just for the storage offered. Google Photos is one of my favorite because you can share a Google Photos account and import galleries from albums. This plugin is available at $69 with all these integrations we've just seen. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any question using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful link we've talked about in the description. See you soon for another video. Bye.